Thank you. Out of those 300 some concerts that our band has given over the years, there probably haven't been more than a handful in which we have played a piece by Philip Spark. Uh, not only one of the best, but most prolific uh, composers working for brass band, because he writes in every style from uh, terribly difficult and uh, complicated test pieces to arrangements of Christmas tunes. So you'll hear us do those at, at lots of different kind of concerts. Um, it's, it's a fun occasion to go back to 1983 when he actually wrote this one, Rhythm and Blues. At a lot of family functions, um, celebratory occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, they're often tinged with sadness as families remember those who aren't there to celebrate any longer. And we are a family too. And we feel the same way about our uh, comrades who aren't here to celebrate with us tonight. We have prepared a video tribute that we call uh, the, the tribute to our dear departed friends. And unfortunately, this morning we had to add another name to that. Um, you may notice an empty chair in the tube section. And that uh, in our hearts will always be filled with Jerry Gruber, who passed away this morning. We did have time to add his picture to the video tribute. So we remember Jerry, and we hold him, as well as Pat and Jenny in our hearts. And we hope you will do the same. And now, in honor of all of those who aren't here to celebrate with us tonight, we offer um, this great arrangement of Bill Himes' Amazing Grace.
Well, Jerry would be the first one who would want us to lighten the mood. Um, he was always quick with a quip that would uh, keep the rehearsal from getting too tense. And there's no better uh, way to do that than with a tuba feature, one that he would have been uh, proud to take part of. And that's why we're moving our tuba section, consisting of, from my left to my right, Trigby Score, Greg Stockwater, Eric Peterson, and Gary Gray. Shown by Patrick Sheridan on a piece called Faces Fraser.
entrepreneur, entrepreneur, I mean, he was soloist, which is wishful thinking. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, most most businesses uh, that start, 99% of them fail in the first five years. And of the 1% that go on, 99% of those fail in the next five years. So to be standing here with an organization that's lasted for 30 and going strong and having this much alumni and this much great feeling in the room, it's clear that they that you and they have struck this beautiful balance between community and music. And that's what it's all about. So give it up. Why the tuba? Well, I didn't choose it at all. I really wanted, I really wanted to be a drummer. This is the truth. I went to Crestview Elementary School in Cottage Grove, Minnesota. They called everybody out in alphabetical order at the end of third grade to see what instrument they wanted to play. And I had bugged my band director, James Baldrigan, since kindergarten every single day at, at, at recess and at lunch to play the drums. So on that day, I marched in with my drumsticks ready to go. They were actually twigs from outside. He said, what are you going to play? I'm going to play the drums. He said, we have 11 already in the beginning of the band. Because 12 is too many. <laughs> Every band director in the room is like, yeah, it's 11 too many. Up there, come down here and dance with your mother. Of course, my brother was one, so I made the cut of four. <laughs> and so I started to take ballroom dance lessons uh, with, uh, that, that, that fit the orders of my parents and, uh, and learned all these dance figures as a very young kid. So my first experiences with music were actually moving to music. And my favorite rhythms always were the Latin rhythms. So we're going to play you one of my favorite rhythms one of my favorite tunes. This is a cha-cha to swing. We hope you like it. And if you sign the liability form, you're allowed to dance in that house. <laughs> Thank you. 
Before we play our last number, there are a number of people that we need to thank, uh, not just for helping put on tonight's concert, but 30 years of concerts. So uh, going back to the early days, we need to thank uh, Southeast Technical, Minnesota State Southeast Technical, for uh, the assistance they've given us over the years. We'd like to thank Red Wing Schools for uh, loaning of percussion equipment and stands and a uh, trailer every once in a while and other things that have really helped, uh, helped our lives uh, go a lot easier. I'd like to thank Adam Hilly for filling in at the last minute on home in the place of Jim Green. Not an easy task. I'd like to thank uh, Maria Olson uh, for all her graphics work and the programs and posters and everything that she has to do. We'd like to thank um, Anitra Huggelson, our web person. everything that we're up to if you're on Facebook or our webpage. So thanks a lot, Anitra. We'd like to thank uh, Staghead for hosting our reception after we get done. We'd like to thank uh, John Rusterholz and friends, the TV crew that you see filming tonight's concert, um, which hopefully uh, will be available on cable outlets and uh, DVDs around town uh, pretty soon. So that's always a lot of fun. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> we need to uh, acknowledge that this concert tonight uh, was produced in part uh, with a grant from CMAC. Um, and that, of course, comes from the Arts and Heritage and Cultural uh, Legacy Fund Amendment. So, thank you, taxpayers and voters, for that. <laughs> As always, we'd like to thank the, the, sh the crew here at the Sheldon who do such a great job uh, making us look good and sound good, from uh, Josh and Russell there in the boots to the uh, box office staff, the, the house uh, crew, and everything in between. Uh, we, we are proud to wear the name Sheldon Theater Brass Band. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we are so grateful for Pat Sheridan and, of course, his uh, sponsors, um, Hercules, uh, KHS, and Jupiter Instruments for uh, helping to make this possible, too. Last but not least, um, we wouldn't be here after 30 years if it wasn't for you. Um, you are what make this so much fun for us to be up here. Um, so thank you so much, not just for your support for tonight, but for the last 30 years, and we plan on uh, going uh, for as many more as we can. 
Uh, it might not be exactly these players on the chairs because <laughs> some of us original ones are, uh, are uh, getting up there. But there will be other players sitting in a Shelton Brass Band, uh, hopefully a long time from now. So thank you, audience. Well, for our last number, uh, we thought just there's an off chance that in the audience there may be a few people of Norwegian heritage. <laughs> um, well, um, you know, most Scandinavians in general, but Norwegians in particular, are known for their stoicism and keeping their emotions kind of below the surface. But nobody has really, or at least until now, given, given voice to that particular part of the Norwegian psyche, the funk. <laughs> and, and this comes from a very Norwegian composer, Torstein Agar Nielsen. He's got four A's in the first half of the second name, so you know it's funk. And he actually used one of the same tunes that Ivar Grieg used in his Norwegian dance, but it didn't sound much like this. Here is Torstein Agard Nielsen, get in touch with your funk side, Norwegian dance.
Thank <laughs> you. 